Today is Wednesday, June 21st, 2017, and I'm doing a quick unboxing on the Dyson V8 Absolute uh, Cord Free, Hassle Free Handheld Vacuum. <clears throat> I purchased this at B&H. Uh, the price was $5.99, but I had a 20% off coupon, which brought it down to $4.79 after taxes and everything in here in uh, New York it came out to 523 I forgot to show the box. This is the back. It's the side. I show the front and this is the other side. Okay. So the instruction manuals, paperwork. The tube. Bunch of the adapters. The wall mount. Okay. 
That's everything that comes in the box. Today is June 22nd, 2017. So I charged the Dyson V8 overnight. Okay, this I'm gonna try it on the my rug first. So I'm gonna take it out of its uh, mount, which I'll mount somewhere in the house. It's pretty convenient. Put this out of the way. And I'm going to use the rug. So this is for the bare floors. Nice and smooth. Uh, this is for the sofa. You have uh, material sofas. I guess you could use it for drapes also. Use this to get into the guess, keyboard and stuff. Cleaning desk. Also, I forgot to mention these. This I'll probably use in the car a lot. And uh, I guess this too, they usually come to uh, a lot of the vacuums. And so I'm going to try it. the connection here. And I think this works electrically where it communicates with the Dyson itself so it can have its motor move. It has two connections here. Two male type of prong things. Which will probably go into the female prong. And then the actual Dyson. And this is the, my first time use. Sounds nice. you the under the sofa shot so I could really get underneath there I usually have to move the sofas out of the way to get underneath there um, I guess I won't have to do that anymore oh wow Try the super maximum suction.
right, let me finish up and I'll let you know how I do. We have a, a 14, 1500 square foot apartment and it's covered probably 750 to 800 square feet is covered by carpet. So I'll get back to you letting you know if I finish and how well it did. Okay, so I finished vacuuming. It took me about, an, I'd say about an hour. I used about three of the different connections. I used the rug connection. I used the floor connection. So I used these connections, the floor connections, as you can see with the container. It's pretty filled. Got it filled. I mean, it works very well. I am so excited about this vacuum and using it in the future because it just makes it so much easier to vacuum. Those are the two different ones. Uh, connection. This is one of the three. So this is for the carpet, for the floor. And it still looks clean. Very nice. And the suction to get underneath things. I forgot to mention that I was going to do the bare floor. So I did use it for the bare floor. So I did vacuum probably around 1,400 square feet. So, you know, it, it, it has a 40 minute time, except when you use the connections, I think it brings it down to 30 to 25 minutes. But you're not, you don't always, like a regular vacuum, as you can see back there, the yellow one, which I'm upgrading from. It's an old Dyson vacuum, but still working. It's a few years old. But it's big, it's bulky, it's heavy. And a lot of times, I don't even, because I don't want to take it out, I don't vacuum. So it's always a big job when I bring this thing out because it gets to the point where I need to vacuum. With the handheld, I'm going to find myself probably vacuuming every day. Anytime I see anything, I can just pull it out of the holder and vacuum. And that's actually the reason I'm making an investment, just to clean the, keep the uh, home clean. I have two children, and, you know, it's nice to be able to make sure that you keep it as clean as possible because of illness and uh, stuff like that. And the kids play on the rug, on the floor, so... It would be nice to keep it clean all the time. So I'm upgrading from that yellow one. I forget the name of that Dyson. It's a Dyson. It's a popular one. Works very well. Don't get me wrong. It works very, very well. And if it wasn't for this, the V8 one with the 40-minute time, I would have never gotten it because I, I couldn't deal with I think it was the V6 that came out. It only had like a 20-minute life. I just I couldn't do it. I'd rather have guaranteed 20 minutes and possibly 40. The nice thing is, is that you don't always have, you don't, it's not always on like the yellow vacuum. I would just leave it running, you know, until I got something out of the way. Whereas the handheld, you just it stop pressing on the trigger. The super suction or maximum suction setting is, works awesome and I used it to get underneath the sofa to make sure that because I can't see what's under there I want to make sure I get everything also I used the super suction to get underneath things with that connection that's on it right now to make sure I get everything I could as but when I was able to run it along areas that I could visually see I just used the regular suction it works fine it's very quiet I don't know if you can hear the noise difference. So this is the regular high suction. And this is the max suction. These are the two filters. I'll be taking this out to see how well, you know what, I wonder if I can take it out now. Yeah, look at that. The filters are not even that dirty. They're still spotless, like if they're brand new. Dyson is a great, great product. Oh, that's interesting. They also have the direct phone number for Dyson. 
if you have any issues, right in the back. So you don't have to look for the phone number on the internet. It's already there. So it looks like I'm going to keep it. I'm very happy with it. I love Dyson products. And just to add, I was going to buy this at Best Buy. It was $5.99. And the reason it's $5.99 is because it comes this connection extra. So the difference between the $4.99 to $5.99 to my understanding is that the, the uh, $4.99 doesn't come with this. This is a separate $125 device uh, or connection. Whereas when you buy the, uh, the $5.99 version, which is the, I forget their names, but the $5.99 version It'll come with this, so you kind of save $25, but I'm going to let you know, I didn't buy it at Best Buy. Lucky for me that Best Buy didn't actually have it. They have run out. So I went, I searched on the internet, and I saw that they were selling them at Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, the good thing about Bed Bath & Beyond, and a lot of people don't know this, is that their coupons, they have a 20% coupon. They mail it to you in the mail. That coupon never expires. So I ended up purchasing this Dyson 599 vacuum for actually $479. I used a three-year-old um, Bed Bath & Beyond 20% off coupon. So right off the bat, I saved $120. So the whole purchase price came out in uh, New York. The whole purchase price came out to about a... I think it was $522, $523 over the $599 price. So just to let you know, if you have a Bed Bath, Bed Bath & Beyond 20% off coupon and you're looking to buy this, go to Bed Bath & Beyond, they'll honor the coupon, and you'll automatically get a 20% discount. And it's well worth it. Uh, um, it's just much more well worth it. I am definitely, definitely happy with this device so far. Plus I have a 30 day return. So if it, you know, for any reason it stops working or whatever, I'll be able to bring it back. It does have a two year warranty I saw in the manual. So Dyson gives you a two year warranty. I had, I forget what the warranty was on this device, but oh, I actually have the name. It's the DC-15 All Floors Dyson Vacuum. This one, DC-15. But I never used it, and this thing works very well too. So I'm probably going to end up using this somewhere else, and this is going to be my main vacuum for the apartment. Okay, I hope this video was informational. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you. Goodbye.